On this week's reader feedback, we have a video submitted by Seth, a junior player from Hawaii. He asks us, how can I get more power and consistency on my serve? So let's review the video of his serve and see what we can do to help him. So in looking at Seth's video of his serve and his question asking how do I get more power and consistency, Seth, I, I think it's a pretty good looking motion. You do some things I think very well. Uh, most importantly, I think your tossing action is very good and you really keep your right hand, being a lefty, up there very well. But where I see you can make improvements is your racket position right in the middle of your swing your leg position a little bit as you start your load and then you're unloading up into the ball. And the last thing is in slow motion you can really see that your head drops a little bit early. So those are the four little areas I think that you can tweak and you will really get a lot more power especially coming from the legs and you will get a little bit more consistency because I think by keeping your head up and by getting the rack in a little better position, it will give you a more consistent contact point. So let's break it down starting with the, the racket work and if you'll notice in the slow motion again you start down here and once you get to about in this position you sort of break the racket, the swing into that abbreviated motion which is fine but your face starts to open and as soon as the racket face opens you can see the elbow starts to come in a little bit. And so I'd like to see you experiment trying to keep your palm down a little bit longer, even if it's abbreviated. And one way to do that is just practice starting with just in this position here and practice starting in this position to keep the elbow from dropping and the face from opening. So that would be the first thing is hand here so that the palm is down. Second, leg position. If you'll notice, now you're a lefty so I'll show you lefty, I'd like to see your legs working together. It looks like when you get into your, your coiling or your loading phase, you almost do a little bit of what they call dance the plie, where it, the legs are not working this way. Your front leg is getting down, but the back leg is coming this way a little bit. So I don't think you're working together here to get a good coil, being able to unload up into the court. And because of that, you'll notice that you don't really get up too much and your back leg is almost still on the ground. So this would be the third thing that you could work on a little bit is when you do get that leg position down that you're able to explode up a little bit more and I'd like to see you really get this kick a little bit more as you come in. Notice most of the good servers that back leg really comes up. Yours barely comes off the ground. Especially as you are throwing the ball well into the court good toss into the court, you're really exploding into the court but you're not getting anything up and into the court, it's more this way. Then the last thing is just trying to keep your head up a little bit longer. This is typically one of the biggest problems people have in the serve but what you, what you do very well is you're great with your toss and your tossing arm. So if you can just remind yourself to try and keep your chest up at that toss a little longer so the head can be there I think you are going to not be dropping your head quite as early and many times hitting that ball into the net. So in reviewing our four points, the first is don't open the face, try and keep the palm down, wrist very relaxed. Second is knees working together rather than here. The third is once I do get in that good position to explode up and really use your legs to go up into the ball. And last, try and keep your head up just a little bit longer up until contact. And I think those things will really help your serve.